Hi Gemini, welcome back to the channel. This is Z here at Pink Aura Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for subscribing if you're newly subscribed. Um, this is going to be for February the 23rd through March the 1st for Gemini. And if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, and hopefully this reading will resonate with you, but keep in mind too that it's a very, very general so it won't resonate with everyone. That is okay. If it does not, you can always book a personal reading. Um, all you have to do is just look in the description box below for my information. The process is super simple. I respond back in the same day as well. Once you reach out to me, I'll respond back. Um, so let's see. I'm going to use my Daily Vibes Oracle deck today to get the main message for you guys. I might pull two cards depending on what card comes out here. What message do you have for Gemini here for February the 23rd through March the 1st? What message do you have for um, Gemini? Okay, so we got making moves. So y'all making moves, Gemini? We got making moves here. And on this card, y'all, y'all can't see it because it's like a real fine print. But it says make, sh um, make your next move your best move here. So it's like you're playing chess here with making moves. Like, make a smart move, basically. Give me one more here for Gemini. Give me one more here for Gemini. Give me one more here for Gemini for February the 23rd through March the 1st. Okay. Okay, so we have um, angel numbers that came out here. Some of you guys could be receipt seeing like repeated numbers here the angel numbers so it could be um triple digit numbers here of the same number or you could be seeing like 10 10 11 11 12 12 doesn't really matter um you could be needing to look these up here these could be um whatever the numbers that you are seeing it's like it could be kind of like trying to tell you what moves to make or kind of like or if you're on the right track or making the right moves basically and pay attention to your thoughts here whenever you see those numbers we also have new cycle here. So this new cycle here, um, like you could be making moves here towards a new cycle here, starting something new here. You could be needing to have faith here as well. Like have faith and have faith and believe that you're making the right moves basically. So let's see um, what's going on here. Tell me about making moves here for Gemini. Tell me about making moves here for Gemini. Yeah, so you you guys are definitely uh, making smart moves here. We got the Queen of Swords here. It's like you know what moves to make here. You could be um, getting major clarity here about making moves here with this Queen of Swords. It's like you definitely have discernment here as well. Could definitely be about your money here too, your, your coins. Tell me about making moves here for Gemini. You could also be dealing with like a um I feel like this is your energy here, but you could be dealing with someone here um who's like the queen of swords. But for me, um reading this, like if you're trying it, like if you're dealing with another air sign here, like you could be um trying to figure out how to come towards this person or something with this queen of swords. Tell me about making moves here for Gemini. Uh oh. So yeah, we have the two of swords that came out here. Some of you guys could be about to make a move here and it could cause some type of disappointment here or it could hurt someone. Not really sure where this is leading up to, but um, with this two of swords here, use your intuition here about make, uh, making some type of moves here. You could be coming from a place of disappointment, um, Gemini. So I'm not really sure if this has already happened here, but I feel like you could be about to like leave something here. Someone could definitely be done with the earth sign. I keep seeing the queen of pentacles here. Tell me about angel numbers here. For Gemini. Yeah, so we have the King of Wands here that came out. I feel like too, um, those angel numbers here are your like um guides are trying to 
um, tell you to take action here on something. Someone could be dealing with a fire sign here, but I feel like it's, they're telling you to take action on something here. Because it could be something that you're not really seeing here as well. And we do have the high priestess here that came out. So use your intuition here about whatever this move is that you're needing to make. Tell me more about making moves here for Gemini. Ooh, so whatever move you got to make, Gemini, I feel like you could be waiting for it too. But we got the Six of Wands that came out here. So whatever moves that you are making, um, Gemini, or that you're about to make, I do feel like you're getting some type of victory here. Um, some of you guys could be waiting for something here in regards to your work here too. Yeah. So we do have this, the, um, the hang one, which is like the hangman. But then we have this eight of pentacles coming in here. So some of you guys could be needing to make a move here in regards to like your work. I think I had mentioned it too. I feel like it could be about your money. Tell me more about making moves here for Gemini. Yeah, Page of Wands. Some of you guys, someone is about to get good news here. I feel like the good news is going to come and then you're going to be able to make a move here. But it's like you're making, maybe you're, um, you're needing to use your intuition here or get some type of clarity about how you're going to make the move because I'm not really sure how it's going to come in for someone. But someone's getting good news here in regards to like a work situation here. And we do have the three of pentacles that came out here. So it's like whatever you've been working on here, you could have been working on it like by yourself here with the hermit coming in here below the three of pentacles. This could definitely be something that someone was waiting on too. Tell me more about angel numbers here for Gemini. And maybe you needed to cut something off here as well. That's what I'm getting so far in order for you to make this move. Something could have been like in the way as well. Tell me about angel numbers here for Gemini. Yeah, King of Cups here. Someone could be done with a water sign here. So we have the um the King of Wands and the King of Cups here. I don't know why I feel like <laughs> so this is about someone's um I do feel like it's about someone's work here with three of pentacles. Someone could have been actually working with two other people here. But I feel like too with the queen, because you know the um in chess, I don't know how to play chess, y'all. So hopefully I get this right. But this is what I was picking up so far. Cause when I kept clarifying the um, like trying to get more information here on his angel numbers here, it's like the two kings came out and then we got the queen. But I think the kings are higher, like they're basically like bigger pieces, I guess, are more important pieces like in chess, basically. So I do feel like too, it's like maybe, um, it's like maybe somebody was like kind of, I feel like someone's about to, whatever this move that you're about to make here are good news. It's kind of going to put you like in a king type position, I guess you can say. That's what it seems like. So let's see here. Because I think the queen is like below the king, right? But then it's like these angel numbers is trying to tell you that you're going to be like in a king type of type of position here. Like an emperor type of position. And also too, it's like a leader type of position. Tell me about this two of swords here for Gemini. Yeah, some of you guys have been waiting here to make a move. So we have the three of wands here. I feel like someone was just trying to um, make a decision here about how they're going to move forward here too. Tell me about the six of wands here. Yes, yeah, so we have the moon card that came in here. 
So for some guys, you could be actually wanting to make a move towards someone here. Um, we do have the moon card that came in here, but I feel like too, for some of you guys, um, you could be definitely need to use your intuition here or your dreams and stuff could be telling you about something that's coming in here. So it could be a person. For some of you guys, you could be getting communication here from a person here. So whether or not you're making moves towards something here, Gemini, like you're basically getting good news about it here. So it could be another person involved here. We do have the Knight of Swords that came in here. So this could definitely be like fast movement here, but we do have the Two of Cups here. So it could be about a connection here for someone. Let's see what this Page of Wands is. What's the Page of Wands for Gemini? Yeah, so we have the Four of Pentacles that came in here. Um, For some people, you could have... I feel like someone could have been having problems with something that is like, um, this could be like a material possession or something that could have caused you to not make some moves here. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like something dealing with a car or something. It's like maybe you didn't have transportation or something. But I'm seeing some type of like material possession here that someone could be um, like getting here with this four of pentacles, like someone's getting good news here about some type of material possession here. Also too, for some people, um, if this is like about a job, this good news is um, whatever this job is for you or something that you've been working on is providing stability here for someone here. Cause look, we got the queen of pentacles again. Like money is looking real good for someone here. So someone could definitely be getting like a promotion. The ace of pentacles didn't come out here, but definitely it's like good news coming towards, towards someone here in regards to like material um, gain here. And we have the knight of pentacles too. So it could be definitely an offer here coming. Oh, I just said something too about the ace of pentacles. It's, it was right below the knight of pentacles here. So money looks really good for someone i want to see what this moon card is tell me about the moon here yeah so we have the nine of cups here for some of you guys this could be something that you were like searching for too but i do see wish fulfillment happening for someone here i feel like someone could have been like worried here about their situation too it's like maybe you weren't able to make moves here. So let's pull some more Oracle cards real quick. Okay. What messages do you have for Gemini here to close out this reading? What messages do you have for Gemini here to close out the reading? Okay, so divine timing wanted to pop out here. So divine timing is perfect here. So if you're waiting for something here or you're waiting for some type of news communication here, just know that um, it's going to happen here in divine timing. But like I said, again, you guys could be need to look up those angel numbers if you have been seeing certain numbers. Give me another one here for Gemini here for this spread. Ooh, so we got third eye on left eye here. For some of you guys, you can already know that you, you're about to like receive good news here. But it's like your intuition could be telling you here um, about some news here or you about to make a move here if you were like waiting for something to come in here. But look, we got good news that came out right here. Give me one more here for Gemini. Yeah, someone's about to get a message here, y'all. Look. We got an online message that came out at the bottom and then we got a light bulb. So this message here is bringing in someone like major clarity here about a situation that you could have been worried about. It's like this one message changes something for someone here. So I don't know exactly what this could be for, but it's like once this comes in, like basically somebody's just making like one move and it's like it changes things for someone. 
So we do have a light bulb. It's like a, um, you get like an aha moment after a message. So I'm not really sure if you're receiving a message or giving out the message here. And there could be fear here too. I was about to say that too. Someone could be afraid here. I was actually going to say, um, someone could be like not really confident about making a move so if this is about love someone could be about to make the first move i don't know but it's like this one message here changes something here for someone so yeah i'm going to end the reading right here hopefully um it resonated with someone of course you guys can leave a comment below give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or if it res resonated with you um and of course if you're new to the channel you can subscribe and hit the notification bell for more readings